So in this video, I'm going to show you one of the most common errors that we see with our customers. That is the data files not found or 6420 error. So let me first show you what this error looks like. You'll go to double click on Metasoft on one of your workstations and you will get this data files not found. And if you click on the details, you'll see it's an error 6420. Now this error basically means that the server computer um, is not sending the data over to this computer for whatever reason. So the two easiest things you can check is first make sure that the server computer is turned on. If it's not turned on, it can't send over the data. The other thing you'll need to check is to make sure that it has internet connection. If it doesn't have internet, same thing. It won't be able to send over that data over the network. So check those first. Those might be your issue. The other thing that you'll want to do is log into the main server computer. Now, if you don't know what computer that is, the easiest way to find out is just hit change data and then just copy and paste the this name right here into like a notepad or on a Word document, somewhere where you can then um, go and log into the server computer to see which computer it is. So what you want to do then is cancel out of here, and this is where you'll need to get up and go and walk to wherever the server computer is. Now, an easy way, once you're logged into a computer, say you don't know which one is the server. Usually they're in a back room uh, if you have a real server, or if you have a workstation acting as a server, then you can just click on File Explorer, and then go down to this PC. If you right click and go to Properties, that will show you the name of the computer. So I didn't have to move because my computer is the acting server for my database. So you can see that here's the name. But what you can do is go into any computer in the office, go to My PC, right click Properties, and make sure you're on the server computer. Once you verify that you're on the computer that the database is on, just go ahead and click on the Start button down here. And then just do Search. What we're going to do is search for a program called Advantage configuration utility. This is what it looks like, the logo, and, and that's what it's called. So if we click on it right here, you can see that the reason why I'm getting a 6420 is because this service is not started. So if I, for mine, just simply click start, I can then open up my Metasoft without any issues. So that's another thing that you can check. The last thing I'm going to show you is to add in what's called an ADS file, which I have right here. We'll make sure that we put a link under this video in the comments section so that you can click on that link and download this file to the workstation. So what you'll do, once you have this file downloaded, either to the server or the workstation, um, you'll then need to find out what the new IP address is. So what happens is a lot of times you'll reboot a server computer and if it's not what's on called a static IP address, then the IP address can change, which then throws off Metasoft and gives it the 6420. So to find out what the static IP address is, on that server computer, just go back to search, and then this time you'll type CMD. This will give you the command prompt that you can run. And what you will type here is IP config and then just hit enter. This will then give you the IPv4 address. You'll want to just jot that down or save it. Then what you'll want to do is simply add this ADS or that IP address here to the ADS file along with the server name. Once you've done that, go ahead and save the file. And if you saved it to the um, server computer, You'll need to take that and either email it to yourself or put it on a zip drive and take it over to the workstation. Once you're at the workstation, you'll just simply right click on Metasoft, go to open file location, and then just simply click and drag to what's called the Metasoft bin folder. Once you do that, just simply hit close. And then you should be able to open up your Metasoft program and get right in. Now, if you did go through all those steps and you're still getting a 6420, please give us a call. We're more than happy to help. 
And honestly, we know that this video is maybe a little bit longer than the others. And so if you're not comfortable doing that last step of checking the IP address, then let us know. We'll be more than happy to help as well. But that's all there is to it for checking that and fixing a 6420. So if you have any questions, again, just give us a call. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you want more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and also do us a favor and click that like button. Thanks again and see you on the next one.